What's going on Future and Current CWIs? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. My main goal here is to make you a CWI on the first try and give you the latest and greatest on this CWI exam. You're going to need it. Hey, what's going on future CWIs? It's been a while since my last video, but we're going at it again. In this new video, we're going to talk about part A and part C of the CWI exam and what you will encounter on the exam. Let's get into it. So for part A, it's really unclear what AWS is using for the fundamentals. Um, when I took the exam and the seminar that I attended, they provided me that 2008 WIT book. Uh, but when I took the Prometric exam, it seemed to me that they were using a much more modern version of questions. Um, in my opinion, I think AWS has moved on from testing on the 2008 WIT book and has now implemented the 2020 WIT book. So I recommend candidates to purchase that workbook. These books are expensive, but as long as you get your hands on any welding technology book and know the basic welding principles and their advantages and disadvantages, you'll be in good shape. So during the party exam, you will run into some curveball questions. AWS does not make it easy for you. And the way they word these questions on part A really makes you think. I'm here to point you in the right direction and help the CWI candidate community pass this exam. Um, I've heard stories and I'm sure you heard stories too that people have taken this exam four or five times. AWS is getting rich off these exams. All people really need to do is be informed of the exam and, and be well prepared. Any resource out there helps. So let's dive in and um, let's see what type of questions you'll see and what I highly recommend for you to study. So when you're taking your Part A Prometric exam, you will encounter a lot of terminology questions. They will display images and they will require you to answer it using the proper terminology. For example, they will display convex and concave fillet welds and they will ask you, what does letter B on the image represent? So make sure you know this image and know what each term is called. You can have up to five questions on this single image. This can be easy points for you. They will also display images of welding processes. And by looking at the pictures, you need to know what process it is. So study the following images as they have popped up on the part A exam. You will also encounter fusion and penetration terminology questions. So take a look at the images and I recommend knowing them very well as they have popped up on the exam. Again, there can be up to five questions on these single images. Last but not least, you'll encounter a variety of weld symbols. They will also display images of the weld symbols like these here, and you need to know what they represent. I found this section pretty easy and straightforward. I recommend you guys obtaining the AWS book on symbols. It was really helpful during my preparation. One final tip for those that hate math like I do, you best believe there will be some math questions on there. There will be at least six to 10 questions regarding heat input. Most of the questions will be scenario type. So here is the formula and an example on how to use it. Well, there you have it, CWI Kennedy community. Part A will have 150 questions and you need a 72% to pass. Keep in mind, since I couldn't cover everything in this video, you'll also see some NDE questions metallurgy questions and safety and welding so i highly recommend knowing a little bit a lot of everything so now we'll get into part c of the cwi exam there are many code books out there that you can test to but since my background is in pipeline and i work for the gas company i went with the uh, api 1104 aws is now testing to the 22nd edition so make sure you get the correct 1104 code book so here's the way i tap my code book I also wrote notes on the inside and AWS allows this. I recommend making specific tabs for specific sections so you can locate those locations on your book quickly. Organizing your book will help you locate information much faster on this timed exam. So I'll briefly detail what you may encounter on the exam for part C. One thing I want to mention is that I recommend you guys getting your hands on some practice tests for the code book you're going to test on. Using practice tests will get you more familiar with the code as it will prepare you to navigate through that book. So let's begin with section 10, which covers the repair and removal of weld defects. Uh, take a close look at these images and remember where they're located. For instance, you might encounter a question about a specific type of repair. 
Um, in such cases, it's, it's important to know exactly where to find these images and be able to identify the correct repair procedure. You might also encounter questions related to Annex B, which covers in-service welding. Don't assume that annex sections won't be tested. You need to be ready and prepared for every section. Um, take a look at this image. They might display it and ask, what fluid is used to simulate similar conditions during the welder qualification exam? The correct answer is water, so be sure to remember where to find this image. You'll definitely encounter questions related to Clause 6, uh, qualification of welders, particularly concerning Table 7. Uh, for example, they might present a scenario asking how many specimens are required for a qualification test if the pipe specimen has a wall thickness of 0.500 and an outside diameter of 12.75. So you really need to know this table because there's gonna be a variety of questions on this exam. There's obviously much more questions that you will be asked on part C, but I could only cover so much. Um, for those that are interested, and I thank my photographic memory for this, is that I created practice tests for part A, part B, and for part C. Uh, it's basically a CWI starter package that also includes access to my Dropbox, which also has additional study information to help you conquer the CWI exam. Um, all my material is unique and spot on. Uh, go ahead and check out my uh, professional LinkedIn account. Uh, it has a bunch of reviews on how my material has been very helpful. I'll try to make as much videos as I can to help out the CWI candidate community. Um, I have a whole lot on my plate right now, but who doesn't? Um, these unique videos take time and effort, all the editing behind the scenes to make. Um, I'm going back to school to get my bachelor's degree. I have a full-time demanding job. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm an influencer. You know, don't give up on your journey. Don't give up on your dreams to become a CWI. The more you know, the more you grow. Don't let any situation or toxic person hold you back. Don't forget to pick up my infamous training guide, The Ark of War, How to Conquer Part B of the CWI. A small price you pay can make you not see this exam on another day.